What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I am going to make a cocktail from Death & Company for you guys. Now, I haven't been ignoring Death & Company, but I haven't done a real deep dive on their cocktails just yet. As you know, I've been doing a lot of milk and honey cocktails, which is a little bit closer to the cocktails that I was trained on, so it was a little bit more comfortable for me. Now that I'm getting a little bit better at these videos, I'm gonna start doing a deep dive on some other programs, and Death & Company is probably one of the most important. Uh, if you don't know what Death & Company is, it was a bar that was founded in 2008 by a guy named Dave Kaplan, who then, in short order, hired another guy named Alex Day, who became his partner. They run a, a, a consultancy called Proprietors LLC, where they uh, consult on a lot of different cocktail programs. They've opened up a bunch of different bars, and they have opened up some bars in conjunction with the bar, um, the bar uh, um, group that I work for called 213 Nightlife. Uh, those bars are the Normandy Club, the Walker Inn, and Honey Cuts in Los Angeles. They're also opening a Death & Company in Los Angeles, and they're opening a Den Death & Company in Denver, Colorado. Um, this particular cocktail is called Strange Brew. It was created by Thomas Waugh. I don't have a date, but I'm just going to say mid-2000s, mid to late 2000s. Um, Another great thing about Death & Company, another thing that makes it kind of an important bar, is that a lot of the top bartenders... Uh, that are working in the business today kind of cut their teeth there um, and uh, all have cocktails that have come out of this bar that really kind of made it a legendary program. Uh, the great thing that I love about this particular cocktail, which is called a Strange Brew, if I haven't said it already, is that it pairs very juniper forward gin with hoppy IPA. And I love beer as a modifier if it's done well. So let's get up into this and let's see how uh, this cocktail tastes. Because I have actually never made this cocktail before. We were doing it for the first time today. First thing that we're going to do, half an ounce of lemon juice. One ounce of pineapple juice. Three quarters of an ounce of velvet falernum. And then two ounces of Tanqueray 10. Now this is what the recipe calls for. And this is Tanqueray's kind of new world style gin, which is going to be very junipery. So if you want to change this out for some other type of gin, just make sure that it's a juniper forward gin. And we're just gonna do a little dash of crushed ice to get the dilution going. And we're gonna pull out our Pilsner glass, which is the glassware. And we're just gonna shake this up a little bit to get the dilution going, to get the chill going. But we don't wanna dilute it too much or the chill too much, so we just put a little pinch in there. This is called a, not so much a shake as a, um, it's not a roll. It is a whip shake is what they're actually called. And we're just gonna top, toss our cocktail in there and then we're gonna pack it nice you want to make sure that your ice isn't too melted so that it doesn't completely combine because then we're gonna take our beer and we are going to layer it on top and then we're just gonna garnish with a mint sprig. So we're gonna take our mint sprig, slap it on our hand to release the oils, break off the stems, and just add it in. And the recipe actually calls for Green Flash IPA. Today I'm actually using the Green Flash Remix IPA which is light and floral, but also got that nice hoppy bite that you'd expect from your IPAs as well. So let's taste this drink and see how it goes. You know, the ingenious thing about this drink is that it really expertly plays the style of gin Against the, against the hoppiness and the IPA, the juniper and the IPA. The IPA doesn't actually overshadow the juniper. It really works with the juniper, but you get this nice tropical vibe from it uh, from the pineapple juice. 
and you get the acidity that you need and the balance of sugar. Well, you get the acidity that you need from the lemon juice and you get the balance of sugar from the uh, falernum, which is a nice way to add sugar because it also adds a little bit of spice to it. So there you have it, my friends, the strange brew.